We went through a remodel last year. It took the better part of two months and several iffy Airbnbs till we could move back in. We were generally happy with the result, and a neighborhood couple planning their own remodel came to see the updates and pick our brains about finding the right contractor. Months later, they invited us over to inspect their home's new facelift. They revealed their new floors as we ooed like the studio audience on The Price is Right. We awed as they displayed a large drawer filled with plates and bowls. I thought, wow, that's a great idea. This is going to come in very handy when you get too old to reach the cupboard. After touring the kitchen and living room, they guided us into what was formerly the family room. They explained it had been converted into a dining room since they don't watch TV. The phrase stood out. We don't watch TV. It wasn't stated aristocratically. It was simply a matter of fact. No hint of snobbery. Yet, as we approached the new master bedroom, I kept repeating the phrase in my head. We don't watch TV. I'd never heard those words spoken in that order. It stumped me, like she had suddenly started speaking a foreign language. And even though it was a, a harmless remark, I felt somewhat demeaned, as if she had remarked, we don't eat our own poop. Now I know most people do, but we find it a waste of time. I know we're in the minority, Lots of people come home from work and the first thing they do is plop down on the living room couch and eat their own poop. We just seem to get along fine without it. While walking home, Kara and I discussed their decision not to own a TV. How do they do it? I asked. First, there's sports. I could not adequately enjoy life without watching baseball. I could try it, but I'd always be searching for scoring updates and highlights. I'd be calling friends. Hey, could I FaceTime your TV for a couple of innings? If you suddenly proclaimed no more TV, it would lead to an ultimatum, told Kara. Listen, honey, it's either you or the Giants, and I've been into them since I was nine. I'm also very fond of British crime procedurals. I think of all those actors and the years they put in at the Royal Academy of Dramatic Art, learning iambic pentameter and stage combat only to be cast as a bumbling shopkeeper on the Inspector Lindley Mysteries. How dare I ignore their efforts? These dedicated thespians provide an indispensable service. When a working stiff returns home after a long slog in the mines, he needs an escape. He wants to be assured, yeah, I had a shitty day, but at least I wasn't falsely accused of multiple murders. Kara, also a Giants fan, could not survive without Survivor. She's never late for a tribal council. She's especially nourished when a despised contestant is booted off the island. She suddenly becomes a zealous Julius Caesar in the Colosseum, giving the thumbs down to a conniving personal trainer from Denver. That bitch had to go. The truth is, I don't like these folks any more or any less because they don't watch TV. They're just different. I know she's retired and gardens a lot. She has a beautiful front yard. In fact, she makes passion fruit caramels with homegrown passion fruit. I had them, they're delicious. But once the yard is tended to, and the second batch of caramels have been folded into small squares of wax paper, what then does she do? I pictured them sitting at their dining room table, drinking green tea while listening to Japanese koto music. Tranquil and buried in their books, their imaginations transporting them to Arundhati Roy's India or Isabel Allende's Chile. I like to read too, but I know of this technology where the characters of a book actually jump off of the page and onto a screen right in front of you. And I find it captivating. Have you seen it? If so, were you not enchanted? Or did you dismiss it out of hand? 
You consider it some kind of evil magic. If you look at it too long, lasers will spear your chest and melt your body like the Ark of the Covenant in Indiana Jones. What about keeping up on current affairs? What do they do about that? Are they reading the internet? If so, well, what's the difference between one screen and another? I guess maybe the rationale is that the internet is not like TV, but rather a book that you can read on a screen. But if something starts to animate on a website, what do they do then? Do they immediately shut down the computer, taking no chance of being speared by a laser? At any rate, next time we meet, I'll make sure not to say, hey, how about the game last night, huh? Have you been watching what's going on in Ukraine? Or, so what have you been binging lately? I certainly won't mention that we have newly mounted TVs in our bedroom and office. We already have one in the living room, and our son Roy has one on his wall, too. Yep, I'm happy to proclaim that we are a proud family of poop eaters.